a little tin foil substitute. Okay, sometimes I'll run a little Vaseline too, just a little bit, right over after that substitute dries. I'll run a little Vaseline on it. The other thing is when you're you're dealing with the separating media and the Vaseline, you want to keep your teeth your tooth surface clean because you're going to be bonding to that. So you you don't want to contaminate the tooth surface. Um, so I'm I'm fitting this tooth in. We're going to need to we're going to need to sort of custom grind it. One of the biggest errors in my estimation is. Um, just literally just sticking a tooth there and it, and it ends up looking like garbage. So the, 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 you know, we're there just about. Once we get this in there, the rest is pretty easy. The biggest error people make is taking, taking that part of the tooth off you that is incorrect and you, you continually cannot fit the tooth where you need it to go. Okay, next is uh, get your flame going. What you can do when you deliver this is um, if you need to line it with a little silicone chair side liner just around where the the frame of, of the partial fits, you can lock into this area right here. not enough for a prosthodontist. They'll go, man, you need to put some wax in there, man. But I'm just going to stick it in there. We know that we need to kind of relieve that acrylic. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, that's good. Doesn't look good from there. I don't know why. It's And you can always come back and, and, and shape it a tiny bit for the, the vestibular. Mm -hmm. All right, that's cool. Condensation reaction silicone lab putty. Siltec. 
we take plus. Could we use our putty for this? You could. If we didn't have that. You could. Any putty? You sure okay. could. So that you can index the teeth well. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But still add acrylic to it. Don't burn it off. And know that our areas of concern, a little undercut there. So when you try this in, I may not relieve it enough to get that little undercut out. You may have a little undercut here somewhere. You might have a little bit here. Maybe a touch. We'll okay. see. Um, I always coat it a little bit more with Vaseline. All right. Need to clean that off real well. And then you need to clean your teeth off real well. This is exactly what a technician does um, when they do a denture. They have to clean the wax off or nothing bonds to anything. And a lot of times, if it's a single, <coughs> if it's a single tooth and a very simple appliance, I just fit it in and crazy glue it to that tooth instead of making an index, um, if that makes sense. Um, that way you don't have to go through all this matrix business and, and having to clean off everything. I need my loops. Increase the tension. My work, my work area is not that neat, but that's okay. Um, and I do this. I had a little dab of crazy glue. And that way, when I slide it into my index, it doesn't go anywhere. It's just a tiny dot. All right, then you got this here. You gotta get the wax off. And you you can you could line this with a little co-comfort. Okay. It doesn't matter. I mean okay. you don't have to use that. You line if it's just gonna be something temporary, you can line the whole thing with co-comfort. Yeah. All that does is fill in the spaces. Yeah. That's all that's all it does. And it, and it conditions the tissues a little bit. It's softer. It's you lose your orientation. And so then we're going to slide that back down into that area. You got it? And then we're going to... Our index should go right on there. Like that. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So what you can do is powder liquid. So you're putting the powder on first? Yeah. Okay. You can put a little liquid in there, but and what I do sometimes is just take a little um, PKT mm -hmm. and go in there and well, it's okay. It, it went down. You can just carefully add it. You just you You're trying to get it in, like in underneath there. Under yeah, the tooth. Yeah, yeah just okay. to retain it. Yeah, a little more liquid. This is like an old video game. I wasn't much of a video game player. But like an old mission, um, what was it called? Mission. I have no idea. I, I don't know. It's some <laughs> kind of some kind of weird, one weird game I've played every now and then. Mission Earth or something like that. They shot up a bunch of lasers and, and you're, you're hitting it. Boom, boom, boom. boom. <laughs> I could see the game. So and you can sort of. We can 
once this sets, you can add a little more acrylic back here if you want to. Okay. Just a little clear acrylic. And you can shape this while you're doing it. Okay. So are you going to put raw wire clasps on it? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. No need for it. Okay. No need for it. If, if she needs help with this, she can use adhesive. Okay. Or, I mean, I do, I have put raw wire clasps on these, but you're getting into, you're getting into time and okay. expense. I mean. I just was curious, because I know like when we write the lab script, it's a we good, write it with. It's a good question, but this is a temporary partial. I ain't paying for that thing. Okay. Give it back. So. How thick do you want? Good question. A couple millimeters, a millimeter okay. and a half. It doesn't have to be real thick, but you don't want it so thin that it just feathers snaps. out into nothing and snaps, yeah. Okay. And once you wet it, it tends to stay. You should have made that index better. That index should have been better. It's in the way. You can clean it up a little bit. Okay. You can also mix a big, whole big patty of acrylic and put it on here. Okay. Instead of powder liquid, I, I do. You don't want your water so hot that it. Some people will heat them out of a coffee pot and put it in here. Mm -hmm. You'll boil off all your monomer and you won't you won't get any polymerization. Okay. It'll be a real grainy, mm -hmm. nasty looking. It won't work. Okay. Bottom line. This has a self-limiting valve on it, so it's gonna go up about beyond 30. This thing will pick. Kick off, so it's a safety, safety valve. That's it. So the clasps on. You're gonna cut. You're gonna cut a length of wire that you you want to you want to it undercut somehow within the major connector, and then you're gonna contour your wire to sit on the can. You'll you'll put a little dab of. And you try a gel. Triad gel. You put a little triad gel there, cure it, and hold the wire there, and then build the partial around it. Okay. It's gonna look good. Once you get that off, mm -hmm. and and make sure that that's level, um, I think it's gonna look fine. I can do that in clinic. Yeah. And so now, if you would like, we've almost got it. Actually, that. You know, just about got it ready to go. We can finish it up. We'll add a little acrylic there. We'll make sure it's dry. And you can put a bead line on it, you know, before mm -hmm. you do it so you know where to finish it back. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, a little bead line. You finish it back to the bead line. Just overlap it a little bit. See, we weren't that far off, yeah. actually. I mean, just a little corner. And just tell her, you know, we put the back tooth on there. We had to kind of extend the denture. <coughs> I mean, you can make it short. You can cut it all the way back, you know, and I just don't think it would fit as well without the support of the edentulous ridge. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So. <clears throat> so I, you know, you can, we know we're into some undercuts here, 
And we, what we may end up having to do is, is ruin your cast. That's okay. That's good, that's good. Okay. Yeah, that's good. We're okay. Oh, that was oh. the stone tooth. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you, I don't you care. may be oh. you may actually be able to um glue it back, okay. you know. So your goal your goal is to not disturb the cast, which we did not do that this time. We did disturb it. But barely. We lost one tooth. Sorry. So you can you can glue it. Okay. Your cast is back normal. So there's your there's your partial and so then uh, I always put a little hearing protection on you don't have to do that and you hold this gently you don't have to go yeah. you know you, 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 you just you, you're just finishing it back and you hold it you don't hold it over here mm -hmm. You hold it close to where you're working because if you hold it here you pushing on it it could distort okay. I'm, just, I'm almost feathering it. I'm barely pushing on any of this. And you want to look at your... You don't like that. It needs to be smooth. Yeah. From this angle and the opposite. Okay.